As of opening day in 2019, Major League Baseball had 251 different international players on the opening day rosters, representing over 20 different countries, and since then that number has continued to grow. If we include players that made appearances in 2018, the number's even higher. So in today's video, I'm going to go over the best player from each country in Major League Baseball. My criteria was simple. We're going to be looking at players who are pretty much like the best right now. I'm not looking for guys who were good 15 years ago. I will consider that when I make my picks, but I'm talking about the guys that you want right now. I've done videos like this talking about the best player from each team. Team, the best player for each number in the game so if you guys want to continue to see content like this on the channel make sure to leave a like on this video that's the best way to show your support you guys have been awesome recently subscribe if you're new and you enjoy the content if you love baseball this is the place to be so make sure you hit that sub button remember to get in the comment section down below let me know if you agree or disagree with any of the choices that i make i know you guys love to share your opinion and i love seeing it so make sure you get heard on the channel and don't forget to follow me on twitter and instagram at giraffe neck mark link in the description to both of those i talk about baseball on them all the time so it's a good way to interact and stay in touch so let's get going into this video Starting off with the first country, we're talking about Aruba, and the best player from there has to be Xander Bogarts. Now, while Bogarts is the only active Major League player from Aruba, he's actually really good and deserves it. Two-time Silver Slugger, two-time World Series champion, one-time All-Star, one of the top 10 shortstops in Major League Baseball. He can hit, he can run, he can field, he can throw, he can do it all. Xander Bogarts is a really good player, and again, even if he wasn't the only player from Aruba, he's still probably going to make this list. This next player comes from a land down under. That's right, the best player from the country of Australia. Australia is Liam Hendricks. While Liam Hendricks isn't necessarily the best pitcher, a career RA of 4.59 and a whip of 1.378, he's the only player in 2019 from the country of Australia to play it in game. And if we include 2018, you're including Warwick Sawpole, then that's not really much competition. So while Liam Hendricks may not be the best player, when it comes to the best player from the country of Australia, he's your guy. Moving on to South America, we're talking about the country of Brazil and more known for their soccer players. Their best baseball player as of right now is Jan Gomes. Jan Gomes recently traded to the Washington Nationals this past offseason, more known as a defensive catcher, but recently has been starting to hit the ball better. And when you look at his numbers, he's actually a pretty good player. So while Brazil may not be known as a baseball country just yet, they actually do have a pretty good player from there in Jan Gomes. Canada's got an influx of young players coming up in the major leagues, but they're just not there yet because Joey Votto truly is one of the great players in the game. While 2018 and 2019 have not been kind to Joey Votto, you can't ignore what he's done in the past, and you can only hope that he starts to play a little bit better. He's got an elite eye at the plate. He's a good fielder, hits for contact, used to hit for power. While we might be seeing the decline of Joey Votto over the next few years, he's still currently the best player from the country of Canada. Although watch out for Vlad Jr. Yeah, he was born in Canada. Moving down south, we're going back to South America, talking about the country of Colombia, and it came down to two pitchers, Julio Tehran and Jose Quintana. For the best player of Colombia, we gotta go with Jose Quintana. Despite having some troubles with the Cubs the last few seasons, he's actually off to a great start in 2019. So while Quintana may not be a Cy Young type pitcher every single season, from the country of Colombia, where it's not necessarily a baseball hotbed, he's going to go ahead and be your best player. Now, this next country is obsessed with baseball. We're talking about Cuba. Cuba has given us a lot of great players recently. Yasiel Puig, Yoenis Cespedes, Yasmani Grandal, Aroldis Chapman. But I think the best player from the country of Cuba is actually Jose Abreu. While Jose Abreu may not be a gold glover at first base, there's one thing this dude can do and it's hit. In just over six seasons in the majors, this dude is averaging 30 home runs and 100 plus RBIs every year, hitting 294 with a 350 on base, a 516 slugging, and an 869 OPS. And honestly, if he wasn't on a struggling Chicago White Sox team, he'd be getting a lot more talk. Jose Abreu is a beast at the plate, and this dude is definitely the best player from Cuba right now in baseball. Next up on our list is Curacao, and while this tiny island only has a population of 161,000 people, they have put out some great major leaguers. Ozzy Albies, Kenley Jansen, Jerkson Profar, Jonathan Scope, and Andrelton Simmons. But which one is the best? In my opinion, Andrelton Simmons has to be your choice here. This dude might be one of the best fielding shortstops we have ever seen play the game of baseball. Some of the plays he makes are just astounding. This is no knock on any of the other players from Curacao, but Andrelton Simmons is one of the more underrated players in the game. Dirty in the field with his glove, and he's starting to swing the bat. Gotta be the best player from Curacao. The Dominican Republic is known for churning out some of the best baseball players to ever play the game. Pedro Martinez. Vlad Guerrero, Albert Pujols, Manny Ramirez, Juan Marshall. The best player from the Dominican Republic right now, though, is Jose Ramirez of the Cleveland Indians. In the last two seasons, Jose Ramirez has finished in the top three in the MVP voting in the American League, and he's only getting better every single season. While 2019 has not been a great start for him, you know this guy's got too much
much talent to continue to struggle. Jose Ramirez can do it all. He's fast, he steals bases, he plays a great third base, he can hit for power, he's got a great eye at the plate. He could be one of the next great Dominican stars, and he's definitely the best player from the DR right now. Surprisingly, there's actually two players from Germany, Aaron Altair and Max Kepler, and in my opinion, the best out of those two is Max Kepler. Max Kepler's got some pop in his bat. Kepler's a guy who hits about 20 home runs a year. He may not have the best average, but the dude can definitely swing the bat with some pop, and the last two seasons has had 50 plus extra base hits. So for a dude from Germany, he's actually pretty good and is going to be the best player from that country. This next player may surprise you. He's actually born in Guam and he's the only player. So Sean Reed Foley is going to be a best player from that country. There's not a whole lot to say about Sean Reed Foley. I mean, he's only made eight appearances in the major leagues and it's not been off to a great start. So he's pretty much on this list because he's the only player from Guam. Japan is obsessed with baseball and has brought over a lot of great talent into the major leagues. Yu Darvish, Masahiro Tanaka, Ichiro. But the best player from Japan has got to be Shohei Otani. Yeah, the dude can pitch fantastic. The dude is a really good hitter. He was doing stuff we have not seen in Major League Baseball since Babe Ruth, one of the greatest players of all time. Now, I'm not saying Otani's going to be the next Babe Ruth, but this dude is a player. Yes, when he comes back, he's only going to be able to hit. But in a couple years, when he's back to hitting and pitching, oh, this guy is so valuable. And even just as a hitter, he's a beast. He's the best player from Japan right now. Moving on back over to Europe, we're talking about the country of Lithuania. This guy has not made an appearance in 2019, but he was up in 2018. We're talking about Davidis Nevarauskas. Yeah, that's right. Look at that pronunciation. Davidis Nevarauskas finds himself on this list pretty much because he's the only player from Lithuania. And I mean, come on, Lithuania? That's a pretty crazy country to come from and make it into the major leagues. So yeah, Davidis Nevarauskas, best player from that country. Next up, we're talking about our friend south of the border, the country of Mexico, and the best player from there is going to be Roberto Osuna of the Houston Astros. Since coming up in 2015, Roberto Osuna has been one of the most dominant relievers in all of baseball. In just five seasons, the dude has saved 123 games and has a career ERA of 2.68 with a whip under one at .88. While he's made some mistakes off the field, when he's been on the field, he has been dominant, therefore making him the best player from the country of Mexico. This next player comes from the Kingdom of the Netherlands. He has not played in 2019, but he's a very good player. We're talking about Didi Gregorius. Now again, yes, Didi is the only player in Major League Baseball from the Netherlands, but Didi's a really good player and one of the more underrated players probably in the game. Top 10 shortstop, hits 20 plus home runs, plays good defense at short. So yes, while Didi is the only player from the Netherlands, he definitely deserves a spot on this video as the best player from that country. He's really good. For the Central American country of Nicaragua, there's not a lot of talent to choose from. A lot of players who have some decent amount of time, but aren't very good. So my choice for the best player from this country is going to be Jonathan Loisiga. loisiga has got some good stuff for the New York Yankees. While his numbers are not incredible, a 4-4 ERA, through 12 games in his career and a 1.47 whip. You can definitely see that there's some talent and potential there. So for Nicaragua, he's got to be the best player. This next player comes from Northern Ireland. He has not made an appearance in 2019, but we're talking about Mets minor leaguer PJ Conlon. Conlon made appearances in 2018 and it didn't go well, but I had to include him on this video because not many people come from Northern Ireland to the major leagues, similar to a lot of the players in Europe. So yes, PJ Conlon is the best player from Northern Ireland because he's the only player from there. Back to Central America, we're talking about Panama and the best player from this country is going to be Johan Camargo of the Atlanta Braves. Camargo finally started to see consistent playing time in 2018, and he made the most of it, having the best year of his career by far. But due to the fact that the Braves have a crowded outfield and just signed Josh Donaldson this year, he's seen less playing time. But Johan Camargo is still a good player and definitely the best player from the country of Panama. Puerto Rico, another country that loves baseball and has given us so much talent throughout the years. You've got Javi Baez, Jose Barrios, Carlos Correa, Edwin Diaz, Yadier Molina, Eddie Rosario. But the best player from Puerto Rico has got to be Francisco Lindor. Lindor, one of the best players in all of baseball. While Lindor has had a slow start to the 2019 season recovering from an injury in the offseason, since playing his first full season in 2016, he has been insane. The last two years, he's averaging 35 home runs, 90 RBIs, hitting 270 with a 340 on base, 500 slugging, 850 OPS. Not to mention, he'd be a gold glover at shortstop if it wasn't for Andrelton Simmons also being in the American League. Francisco Lindor is a top five player in Major League Baseball, and in a country of Puerto Rico that has given the Major League so much talent and has so many many different players that are great, Francisco Lindor rises to the top as the best player from Puerto Rico. We actually head to the Middle East for this next country, Saudi Arabia. The best player from Saudi Arabia is going to be Alex Wilson. Yeah, you guessed it. Alex Wilson's the only player from Saudi Arabia in the major leagues, but he's actually pretty decent. In seven seasons, he has a career 3.44 ERA and a 1.22 whip. So while Alex Wilson may not be an exciting or sexy pick in this video, he's actually not that bad. And well, he is the only player from Saudi Arabia. This next player comes from South Africa and was the 
first Major League Baseball player to play in a game from the continent of Africa. We're talking about Gift Engope. Now, yes, Gift Engope is the only player from South Africa to play in the Major Leagues, but it's pretty incredible to consider that a kid from South Africa has made it to Major League Baseball. Regardless of how well the dude plays, and granted, it's not been great, it's an incredible story, and he deserves to be on this list. Heading back to Asia, we're talking about South Korea. The best player has got to be Hinjin Ryu of the Los Angeles Dodgers, honestly one of the more underrated pitchers in baseball. While Ryu has struggled being on the field since 2016, when the dude is on the mound, he's a really good pitcher. Last year in 15 starts, he had a 1.97 ERA. This year, he's off to a great start with the Dodgers. It's just a matter of can this dude stay on the field because when he is, he's a special pitcher and he's really good. Therefore, best player from South Korea right now. Keeping it in Asia, we're talking about the country of Taiwan and the best player from there is Wei Yin Chen. Wei Yin Chen's best years are definitely behind him back when he was in Baltimore because since coming to Miami, it just hasn't been great for him. He even got pushed to the bullpen this year and his numbers aren't great. But in regards to Taiwanese players in the major leagues, he's still the best player from that country right now. This next country is in South America and is a hotbed for baseball, giving us one of the best hitters at all time in Miguel Cabrera. But there's another player who's taken over the crown as the best player from Venezuela right now, and that's Jose Altuve. Altuve is the little engine that could, and since coming up in his first full season in 2012, he has been a force to be reckoned with in Major League Baseball. Altuve had four straight seasons with over 200 hits. He won the MVP back in 2017. Jose Altuve is one of my favorite players in Major League Baseball. You always root for the little guy, and he is truly proving that size does not matter in baseball. Jose Altuve, best player from Venezuela. And then last but not least, we have to talk about the best player from the great country that is the United States of America. Yeah, it's Mike Trout. Mike Trout's the best player in baseball. So how could he not make his way onto this list? When Mike Trout's done playing, he is going to be one of the best players of all time, if not the best. He's probably going to make an appearance in almost every single video that I do of these because, well, He's Mike Trout. He's the best. So how could I not make him the best player from the United States of America? If you pick anyone else, please do me the favor, unsubscribe. Don't watch my videos anymore. You're stupid. So those are the best players from every single country in Major League Baseball. I'd love to know your guys' thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Just say something. Remember to leave a like on this video if you did enjoy it and you want to see more of this kind of content on the channel. I can definitely give that to you guys. Subscribe if you're new and you enjoyed watching this video. We talk about baseball on this channel every single day. So if you love baseball, this is the place to be. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at draft nick mark links in the description it's the best way to keep in touch and that's gonna be it for today's video if you want to continue to watch more of my content youtube recommends you watch this video right here as well as this is my most recent upload so if you haven't seen either of those click through them i promise you'll enjoy them thank you guys for watching and i'll see you all next time bye